Yeah, there's like a weird species out here that's like, yeah. Oh, I'm best friends with my ex. You know, and I know some of those people. And like, <laughs> to you. Whoa, did you meet them at the zoo? <laughs> Question mark, goodbye, you're blocked. You're blocked with, with Ian Middleman, Middleman and, and Simona Catalano. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about can you be friends with your fucking ex? Here's the thing, why? Like why and how? I think you could only maybe possibly if it ended on without- On a decent note. Yes, on yeah. a decent note without any hostile feelings, nobody fucked anybody up, loyalty was questioned, none of that shit. Just like we're at different points in our life, we want different things, I don't think this is working, choose to go our separate ways. But like, choose to go our separate ways. Why are you still here? Why are you going back into each other's ways? Exactly. Stay in your own lane, bitch. Stay in your lane. I'm sick and tired of this the bullshit. The lines are getting crossed, okay? And it's very confusing. It's like you and I both, none of our exes, none of the guys we've even fucking hung out with in that way are our friends. No. Like, no, I wanted, I don't want you to be my friend, okay? I don't want you to be my friend because I have enough friends. It's like, if I affect you, we are no longer friends at this point in time in my life. Yeah. Like, I, I, I want to hear who. Like, nobody. But, like, some people are like, I don't see the problem. I just don't understand how you don't see that it's an issue. Especially if you're currently dating someone. That's the kicker. How do you not see why your significant other right now would be uncomfortable with you being friends with your ex? There's a line and we always talk about boundaries. Like whether you're friends with females and you're a dude and you're dating a girl, there's needs to be boundaries, like really specific crazy boundaries, okay? Same with this shit. First of all, for me, I don't understand if my man were to have contact with his ex, I'd be like, like, come on. Why? Like there is no need. Like if you need friends, then we can go make friends. You have enough friends, you don't need her as your friend. Secondly, it's like for me, me if i were to go back and think of all my ex and be like could i be friends i would fucking die what what it would do to <laughs> I me would fucking die what it would do to me is make me relive the past the good the bad this right. every time i spoke to them even if i gave it some time and became friends with them again it's like we had the the capabilities and the chances and we and we did follow through with you know seeing each other in that light in a romantic way right so what makes me think that one day i might not see them that way again i always feel like there's one person in the friends with your ex that is genuinely just friends hear me out so like if i ever contemplated being friends with someone that i was in a relationship with in a situation with something with i could be potentially friends with you because all of my feelings for you are done and i know how this sounds because you're like you were just against it and i still am but i'm contemplating here i'm looking back I know that at, at, at some point in time, they would be like, let me, let me try to see if she's down for more. Let me try to see. Someone is always down to try to see if we could be more than friends again. Or if you're going to let me fuck. So or true. if you're going to let me in. Do you know what I mean? So it, true. it might not be for both parties, but one of them. And like, I've been there too, where I'm like, oh, I'm friends with this person. And like, you know, I know that it wouldn't work out, but like, let me just see if like, let me just see. Cause like, we're always, always fucking curious. It's not fair for either person, part of this friendship, wannabe friendship, ex thingy situation that's going on. It's just like, if you're going to attempt that and if you're the one that's okay with it, just know that the possibility of the other person not actually being fully platonic is, is probably the is, situation. Is, is very it's very likely, yeah. it's very high. So I had a family relative who, got married, did the whole shebang, dated for like X number of years, got married, married for two years, donezo finito, divorce. Start seeing a woman who is significantly younger than him. And he was still friends with his ex, his ex-wife. Still friends, still very involved with the family, with everybody, like still going to like family events, holidays, showing up. His new girlfriend, was like, I don't understand why you're still so fucking close. And she's normal for feeling that way. Exactly. Like, and he could not wrap his head around the fact that she was uncomfortable with it. And I was like, I don't understand why it's so hard for you to get why she would be uncomfortable. Like you were in a 10 plus relation year relationship with this person. Insane. And you're still friends with this person. This person has since moved on, like married, kid yada yada and because i i know him i know why he's still so involved 
And I tried to, I tried to explain like why your new girlfriend would be so hesitant about that relationship because it doesn't from the outside look like anything is over. It looks like she's moved on and you're holding on to something. That's right. You have not fully, it doesn't seem like accepted the fact that it is done, that it is over with. I'm not saying you need to drop everybody like you can like be cordial yeah. and completely respectful and you can be like, look at them as sort of like an acquaintance. Like I, I speak to you when I speak to you once in a blue moon, I never reach out. We bump into each other. We're super nice. We live in the same hometown. We're bound to see each other. Yes. We're going to be super civil. Wonderful. That's maturity. That's maturity. But, but you don't put them in your close friend fucking bubble and group and keep them updated. You don't text them. You don't talk to them, especially when you're in a relationship. It's so difficult because that was one of the determining factors of them breaking up. He was like, dude, like get over it. And she was like, this is just so weird for me. I can't, I can't wrap my head around this. And so like to people that are friends with their ex and have a significant other, I think it's important for you to understand why your current partner is uncomfortable with that relationship. Mm -hmm. Like very uncomfortable and has every right to be uncomfortable, no matter how platonic you think it is. It's like, for example, a fuck buddy. You have a new boyfriend and you're like, yeah, I'm, I fucked him. Yeah. But I'm still friends with him. And like, it's not a big deal. We're friends. Like yeah. you're telling me your man won't feel some type of way. Like, yeah. Like you guys saw each other naked. You guys saw each other in that light. You guys tried something out. That's cool. That is me. most certainly not cool. I always feel like it's different for girls than it is for guys. And I don't know why. Hear me out. I'm friends with Johnny who I fucked. I have a new man who I'm in a relationship with, but I'm friends with Johnny. There is a 99.9% .9 chance that uh, my new guy, I don't know, did I give him a name? I don't think I gave him a name. Chad. Anyways, Chad. <laughs> If yes. you know, you know. <laughs> Chad is not going to vibe with me and Johnny being friends. Why? Because Chad is territorial. I'm Chad's girl right now, and that's not a vibe for him. He's like, no, no, no. Like, that's my pussy right there. Like, no, no, no. Yeah. Not okay. Yeah. But, but it's always the motherfucking guys who want to be friends with their fucking ex and expect their girlfriend to be okay with it. It's like, dude, if the roles were fucking reversed, you would not be down. Like this wouldn't, the same shit would not apply for That's you. That's so true. So when I had a lot of guy friends back in the day, the guys that I would date would always be like, you're so naive. And I'm like, wait, why am I so naive? They're my friends. Like, I love them like a brother and they love me like a sister. And they're like, no, bitch, you're fucking naive because they all want to fuck you. But like, they're just shit. they're just friends with you and they're going to shoot their shot whenever they feel like it's right for them or whenever you give them a shot to yes. shoot their shot. And I was just like, no, 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 no. And then I remember like, okay, yeah, you know what? You're right. They all took a chance. Yeah, they, they all took a shot. At one point in time, they did. And it's because just like... they're just born with the audacity. Like, it's so funny because the guys are like, you're being naive. So boyfriend out there who wants to be friends with his ex, you're being naive. Don't put yourself in a position yes. where you are making a... Putting yourself in a in a weird situation for a second. Yeah, like and you're putting your partner for no reason. Yeah, and putting your partner in a position where they're going to feel on edge, constantly need reassurance, and that's going to cause issues in your relationship. Pick your poison. Do you want your relationship to fucking glass and not give her any sort of weird feelings or a sense of doubt? Yeah. Or do you want to be best friends with your ex? Because that's more important to it's you. It's just like with the, the friends, the female friends video. That exactly. We did. It's the same thing. It's the same thing because it's like, what are you prioritizing right now? Your current partner or your mm -hmm. ex? It's like literally the same type of reasoning mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like going into this. And mm -hmm. I also think that if you're a guy that's friends with your ex and you also wouldn't be okay with your girl being friends with her ex, like double standard not fucking okay Check yourself pick a side pick a fucking side because what goes for you goes for her it's not a one-way street that's not how we're fucking doing it here i don't know really enough women actually, i actually don't know any women who are friends with their ex yeah i don't know a single woman in my life who is my friend family acquaintance fucking colleague that is friends with their ex and usually it's because it ends bad or poorly <laughs> or straight up right so then why the fuck would you give them a chance to be friends afterwards it's yeah exactly. lost my respect in that way yeah or also they weren't friends to begin with do you know what i'm saying so it's like i'm dating yes. them because i'm looking at them only in that light i don't see them as being my friend you're either fucking me and dating me or you're nothing yeah and i think that it's because we're women that are are so um decisive on that like it's either this or it's either that yeah. it's not usually an in-between 
And if it's like a you're cool and we're fucking, it's like like li literally that's all that is. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot be doing those types of activities or have feelings for more than one person at a given time. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's like very clear. But for people that are like casually fucking and casually dating, I feel like there's a lot of different people <laughs> on the fucking roster at a given time <laughs> that you're like, yeah, I'm into, I'm into, I'm into, I'm into. And then you're like, I don't really want to give up that roster when I'm in a relationship though. Like, I That's what like, it feels I like. I don't want to have them for like a buffer. Like, That's what it case, feels it's like. It's like, bitch, what? If you're friends with your exes, okay, don't fool it's like, yourself. It's like a backup plan, bitch, when like, shit is low key, band. Like low key, why do you need them in your life? Why? They, they, like, they're such a big deal in your life, then date them. But if you can't date them, then why the fuck are they? Do you see what I'm saying? Just like, I, I make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make, I keep running in fucking circles. And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. You have like the answer. Then leave that in the comments below. But in the meantime, there's no fucking way in hell I'm dating anyone that is friends with their exes, and I would never expect them to be accepting of that if I wanted to do that. Yeah, if it applies to you and you're cool with it, it mm -hmm. needs to go both ways. Yes, it needs to be fair. And if if you're not okay with your girl or your man having friends with your ex then you certainly cannot and also if your partner currently is is showing you signs or is communicating to you that they are uncomfortable with you being friends with your ex or having them in your life in some way shape or form and you choose to ignore that and you choose to be put that friendship over your relationship then maybe mm -hmm. you shouldn't be in a relationship maybe you should really evaluate why you might feel have a weak spot for that person. I feel like that's what it is too. Yeah. When you're yeah. friends with your ex, you always have a weak spot for them. You're you're either holding on to something, you have a weak spot, you're hopeful, maybe you see something panning out down the road. Mm -hmm. It just it's not there's healthy. a lot of feelings that I feel like are associated with that and I don't feel like for the majority of the time it is 110% platonic. No. I just don't feel like it is. Mm -hmm. Of course it can like can but that's like the like 0.001% though like can the exception to the, the rule exception right? to the rule we always bring it up because it is so important of mm -hmm. course yes at any given time or situation there's always an alien that comes from mars and lands on the earth and always. ends up being totally okay being friends with their exes their but other alien friends <laughs> for the majority of the time it's just not something that most people I think vibe with or are totally safe, comfortable and secure with because even if it did end like beautifully, beautifully, like no feelings. We both had a discussion over Sunday lunch in Soho having wine that like, it was just not our vibe, like not our moment, not our time, not your person, mm -hmm. but like would love to be friends. Great for Sally and Nancy or like Sally and whoever, like, I don't know. And then you meet somebody and you're in a relationship with them. Would it not cross your mind? They decided it wasn't right at that time, but they're still friends. So does that mean somewhere down the line, we're hoping for something? Yeah. Like what if in a yeah. year we're different people and we decide, listen, yes. we threw away our love for no reason. Like where does that leave me? Even like my first boyfriend, like fucking fuck high no. school. I could not. I just don't, yeah, like, here's like, the what thing. what is the point? I like, of, yeah, what is the, the point? point? Like, what is the point? The point then was dick. So if we're done, <laughs> if we're done. And the dick wasn't even that good. So, I mean, I so, mean, like, did I come? Like, I don't know. So, like, like what is the do point? Do you lack friends? Like, I just wow. don't know. And that's what I usually hit them up with. It's like, do you lack friends? Like, when, I, when I've when i had issues with guys who want to be friends with specific girls, I'm like, do you lack friends? Like, Do, do you, you lack friends? Do you want to because, go because to Because what is she group? offering like, you? Here's another kicker. Every <laughs> we're just time, kicking like, you. Yeah, we're just kicking you. Because, like, I'm thinking about all the guys, like, and just in my little, mm -hmm. my little timeline of individuals. Mm -hmm. Whenever a guy was like, you know, we should just be friends. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? We should just be, for what? For what? Yeah, what? What? Like, what? I, I don't need to talk to you about anything. I, I literally like, don't need your, like, I know you friendship. need to talk to me because you need a lot of therapy. Okay, Chad? <laughs> I feel like it's very difficult. And even when you're friends with the opposite sex and you're straight and you try to be platonic, it's always going to get a little rocky or a little weird for one person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's always going to be... any given ugh. time. Like, for me, mm -hmm. and that's the thing. Like, whenever I've tried to be just friends with a guy, the line is always crossed. Always. Yeah. Same thing with the ex situation. Like, oh, this is my ex. We dated for 10 years. We have a kid together. I just want you to meet her. That's fine. Different. Makes different. sense. The kid makes it make sense. I mean, we you're obligated at that point. Yeah. But you're, there's no obligation 
unless that's the situation. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that rhymed. Yeah. You no, know guys, it's not even insecurity. It's not even trust. It's, it's not, not even insecurity. It's, it's just, just a weird res, vibe. It's, it's just respect. a weird vibe. Why would you be friends with somebody who you once had your dick inside while you're dating me? Like, what is the purpose of that? And, and explain to me. Give me a valid, a valid explanation, and we can discuss it. I'm not, it's not off the table, but because I can't, and I've never heard of a proper, clear explanation, I cannot justify that, and neither can you. Because again, roles are reversed. Put yourself in my shoes. If I wanted that, would you be okay with that? What does being friends with your ex mean? Does that mean you guys go get coffee? Yeah. Lay down the fucking law. Lay down the like, fucking like, law. Actually, what does it mean? Yeah. Like, is she coming to your birthday? Like, like, no. Do I have to send her an invite for Christmas? Like, what's the vibe here? Like, figure out what the vibe is. Assess what the fuck is up mm -hmm. and where she's at, where he's at, or vice versa. And make your decision for yourself. And then just have an organic, transparent judgment-free conversation on where you're both at and how you feel. And I think that if, if you can come up with a really great explanation, if you and your partner are, and you're are both good okay with it. and you're both okay with it and you guys are kind of like, okay, yeah, I see why she's in your life or he's in your life. Then you know what the number one thing to do is the tips that we always say, introduce your girl or man to this friend of yours mm -hmm. and make sure that they have a relationship too, because it wouldn't be fair for it to be like just you secretly yeah. or whatever. They need to know of each other. They need to be, they need to come to terms with one another because yeah. otherwise it's not fair. Real situation. This guy has a friend that's a girl. He hooked up with her once. Like they tried dating for like a month. Didn't work out. They've been the bestest of friends. He has a new girl that he's talking to. Him and his new girl. Rocky situation. Who does he go to immediately for a fucking hookup? He goes to and is she down? She's fucking down. Really fucking good. Good call. Good to know where you're at. If you're leaving that avenue open, that avenue is open for many other ways. Because exactly, it it's open, it. and and I feel like on some level you you both know that, mm -hmm. and that's why your girlfriend is uneasy about that that situation. So like, yeah. To return back to your point, make sure that your girl and her have a genuine connection. If your girlfriend is trying to have a genuine relationship with your ex mm -hmm. and she's not vibing she's not vibing for a fucking reason she's not vibing because she knows that the girl your ex wants more okay mm -hmm. girls Vice can versa, read girls and girls guys can, can read guys girls. just like guys like my exes or my boyfriends were to tell me you're naive for being friends with those guys they want you they want you they were right at the end i was naive i didn't see that because they can read guys through guy language and we can read girls through girl language like that's yeah, just you how just it know is when a girl wants to fuck your yeah mouth. you like, just know and also like the audacity like the, the audacity if, if that girl if that girl is his friend and is super like adamant on being his friend as well and doesn't give him space when she realizes he has a girlfriend like also question mark you know that goes back to the video we did about being friends with a girl yeah see both sides understand why you're holding on to that relationship why it's a relationship that you still care to hold on to so deeply have that conversation assess and if it makes sense then cool right on do you if it doesn't acknowledge that it doesn't and make a decision yes. i want to hear a motherfucking dude get, get in the comments and be like this is why you should be friends with your ex like a valid explanation like i want a thesis statement i want point don't one do point it. two don't do it point she's three. baiting you she's baiting you <laughs> this is a trap she wants to fight like she low-key wants to scrap it out in the comments don't fucking just do nicely. it just nicely don't do it don't just like do it babe. Anyways, like, <laughs> comment, subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications, and we'll see you back here very soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I'm switching towels.